So Mel, the kind of target kind of on your back in that race for the first time in a national meet, so how did that feel? Um, yeah, it was a little different. I kind of missed the times when Jack was like, all right, nobody knows who you are. Just go out there and race. Um, so yeah, it was a little different. I was a lot more nervous tonight than I have been in uh, recent years, but it turned out well. Yeah. Um, so what was the last 15 meters like? It looked like you were kind of paying the price for, for something. Yeah, I was hurting. Um, I, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Jack uh, afterwards was like, all right, I need to get you back in the weight room right away. And then he was like, oh, by the way, congratulations. And I was like, oh, thank you. But um, yeah, I think just um, trying to keep the strength up before Worlds is going to help on the last 50. Um, so are you pleased with the time right now? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not far off my best. Um, I think that if I had done my first 50 of fly, um, what it had been this morning, it would have been a really good swim. So um, there's definitely some potential for the summer. So after the race, you went over to Ella and you talked to her for a while. Can, can you just explain what you said to her? Because obviously it was a tough week for her. Yeah, I just wanted to let her know that like we all really feel for her. And um, I mean, I, like, I, wa I wanted to say something earlier, but I didn't want it to be um, like remind her of the DQ. Um, I just, I mean, I feel like the DQ is such BS, and um, I mean, I watched the video, and what she did didn't help her, so that's like what's so hard about it is just knowing that it's not like she was like cheating and that it made her go so much faster. Um, so I just wanted to let her know that I really like felt for her, um, and that we're all really cheering for her. Yeah. How about um, having Madison in that race with you going at a 209 there and pushing you there at the end, so how excited are you to have her over the next couple weeks? Yeah, that's awesome. Um, I think that it'll be good because she seems like she's pretty chill in the ready room. Um, yeah, she's like somebody that'll like talk in the ready room, so I'm pretty excited for that. Why, why did Maya not talk in the ready room? Um, no, Maya would talk to me, but mostly like I would talk at her, I think. <laughs> um, like sometimes we would like finish the race and she'd be like, you were really talkative before that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, Madison it seems like she's a talker. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I didn't get chlorine burn on my face. I think that was like a big, <laughs> that was like a big plus for this week. Um, I don't know. I, did, I think that I was just feeding off the energy from my teammates so well. Um, we, Georgia just had such an incredible meet and even Bobby Fink from my club team, I was so happy for him to make it in the mile. He's like, when I go home to train at the team, he just like kicks my butt and I'm so happy that he is getting a chance to go to Worlds and um, so I think like just being around the Georgia people and watching them just kind of helped me get through the week. Do you think that the DQ ball is BS or the wool is BS or both? Um, both. Okay. Thanks Mel, congrats, good luck in Budapest. Thanks. Thanks.